Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. You're watching Lists of 13. Here you'll find lists of various topics like cars, music, geography, and other phenomena, all in sets of 13. If you have tristodectophobia, an irrational fear of the number 13, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. This video is part of a series we call Silly Laws by State. You know, a lot of these laws were put into effect because something happened to make this law necessary. That's disturbing. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are not lawyers and this should in no way be considered legal advice. Today, we're bringing you another installment of Silly Laws by State. Today's installment is 13 Silly Laws in Minnesota. So we started this series by doing Missouri because that's the state we live in. After that, all of the states that touched Missouri, and now all the states that touch the states that touch Missouri. Without further ado, here are 13 silly laws in Minnesota. Number one, it is illegal to park an elephant on Main Street in Virginia, Minnesota. How do you park an elephant? I, I mean, maybe you need to ask the police officers in Virginia, Minnesota. I have no words. Number two, areas in Minnesota where mosquitoes incubate or hatch are declared to be public nuisances. And yes, that they are with or without the law. Right. Number three, in International Falls, cats are not allowed to chase dogs up telephone poles. I've never seen a dog go up a telephone pole, just a cat. So what created this law? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a very good question. Right. Number four, in Cottage Grove, Minnesota, you cannot land any aircraft, hot air balloon, parachute, or hang gliders on public park property. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I wonder if there's a clause for emergency landings. Hopefully. Number five, hamburgers may not be eaten on Sunday in St. Cloud. So you can't eat a hamburger, but are you able to eat a cheeseburger? You know what we call that? Modern solutions for modern problems. In other words, loopholes. Number six, no person may be charged with or convicted of the offense of drunkenness or public drunkenness in the state of Minnesota. I guess you know where to go if you're going to be publicly drunk. Number seven, in all of Minnesota, a person may not cross state lines with a duck atop their heads. <laughs> I have lots of questions. Like, is this just real ducks? Could it be a stuffed duck, a Donald Duck hat? I just don't know. I mean, what caused this law? Did someone like walk across the state line with a duck and got shot? Like, it's a very strange law. Number eight, many Tonka, Minnesota residents must also keep their wood piles neatly stacked or secured to avoid collapse, lest they be declared a public nuisance. You have been warned. Number nine, red cars may not drive down Lake Street in Minneapolis. I'd like to see them enforce that one. It would have been a lot easier to enforce back in the day, like when Henry Ford was making the Model T, and he said, you can get a Model T in any color you want, as long as it's black. <laughs> Number 10. State law limits nursing homes and senior centers to two days of bingo a week. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely protecting the elderly people from addiction to bingo. Number 11. In the entire state, a married woman isn't allowed to cut her own hair without her husband's permission. Oh, one of these states, huh? I have no words. I mean, I can personally say you wouldn't be finding me following this law. Not that I have a husband and I don't live in Minnesota, but that's entirely besides the point. Well, then there's the fact that you also go to a beautician. You don't cut your own hair, so there you go. Well, as a woman and one who's cut her hair off and on from the time she was little and shouldn't until as an adult when I would trim my own bangs, I have cut my hair more times than I can count. Number 12, the agriculture commissioner is required by law to personally capture or destroy any wild boar that gets loose in Minneapolis or St. Paul. That's pretty fun. And number 13, in blue Earth, Minnesota, no child under the age of 12 may talk over the telephone unless they are monitored by a parent. That seems like a clever law and I can imagine that there are a lot of happy parents if that's really enforced. I probably spent hours on the phone on monitor talking to my friends before I was 12. Probably saying things that your mother or father wouldn't have approved of even. Oh no, they probably wouldn't care. I bet it was the stupidest crap ever. I know there were things that I talked about on the phone that would not have been approved of by my parents. 
kids. Yeah, well, you were a bad boy as a kid. Me, I was a good girl. We hope you enjoyed our silly laws in Minnesota. Tell us your favorite in the comments. And remember, ignorance is not a defense, even before you knew these laws. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to get notified when we post new videos. After subscribing, ring the bell on YouTube or click follow next to our name on Facebook. Then click edit settings. Choose how often you'd like to be notified of new videos. We hope you choose all videos. After that, tell all your friends. We, we hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy your day, day and keep being kind to one another. another.